My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's been a few weeks since my trip to Falscar. It's good to be home. Janassa, good to see you. We've added a few more guests. We have Pawnall, yes. who was a merchant. It helps me get some rare ingredients. Ah, oh, there's the Berserker. Huh? Someone I had turned into a vampire. Yes. And we have Shadra, who has completed his assassin's training and is ready to go out on a mission. And good we to have... see you, my friend. Oh, it's good to Up see you, too. Hunting? Yes. And we have Fernilda, who was once a meek, noble woman in solitude, whom I turned. And now she's a vampire ready to kill. All right. So those are the new additions here to my household. And I'm going to go out alone. I've also upgraded my wardrobe since Falscar. I have a few things that I want to attend to before my next commitment. All right, let me go. To White Run, I want to check on Amrin. Hmm, it's nighttime here, too. Well, it's probably doubtful that Amrin is wandering the streets. Although, he does enjoy doing that. Let's just go inside here. Ah, uh, yes. Amran and his wife, both dressed in fine clothing. After so the substantial amount of gold he received for assisting me in Falscar. So I'm glad to see that they're doing well and wealthy. All right. There's another matter I need to attend to since I'm in this area. There was some report about a jester with his cart broken down. And also, I've done quite a few side missions in the weeks that have passed. 
All right, let's just see. I'm not sure exactly where this jester is located. No, oh, I think it is here at the Lorius farm. I'd heard some people talking about this. Yes, look. All right. Let's appear to be mortal. You there. Ah, father and me fuddled. Stuck here. Stuck! My mother, my poor mother. I move in at rest, but true still. Is there a problem? Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Is there some way I can help? Oh, what? Oh, What's oh, this? Yes, <laughs> yes, the dancing stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. Very well, then. I'll see what I can do. The farmer is at his farm. Where else would he be? Lorius is his name. Talk to him. Convince him to help poor Cicero. All right. I believe that the farmer is here at the top of the hill. Ah, but it's night. Or at least early morning, and he's not up yet. Hmm, but the door is open. Good morning. This is a peasant. Hmm. Is it anyway? All right, perhaps I'll wait outside. There's no need to cause an incident. One thing I've learned in my undeath is patience. Thanks to my sunlight ring, I can exist outdoors in the bright of day. You there. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? <laughs> really? The little man really needs your help with his wagon. That Cicero feller? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fools already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? So, what's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. 
and he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. You could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. <laughs> All right. Regardless of your feelings. Sir, I'm having a conversation here. Regardless of your feelings, he's a stranger who needs assistance. I compel you to do the right thing. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? <laughs> you might try to resist me, but you can't. You know you should help him. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But the fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, Indeed. Um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Hmm? Very well. What is... I can't even have you a conversation. To talk to my husband. Yes, Vance whatever. Glorious. All right. Just glorious, if it's all the same to you. And my mask even faded. In the middle of our conversation, but at least I can still manipulate their minds and their perceptions. All right, Cicero. Oh, poor mother. Her new home seems so very far. I've talked to Lorius. He has agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You... you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny gold a few coins for your kind deed and thank you thank you again <laughs> all right then thank you and good luck somehow i have a feeling i might be seeing you again all right, it's time for my next destination. Wait, who's this? Is this someone that I can... You need something? I was a bit... hungry. But since you're a guard, I'll let you pass. All right, let's head to my next stop. All right, the Guardian Stones. Bandit. And that's why I'm here. What the? I'm here for Embershard Mine. And to see the Bandit. Wow. Are you serious? Well, here's the snack I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> oh, now there's more. Dawn Guard again. So it seems a new pocket of Dawn Guard has emerged.
dispatch now. One other thing I didn't mention. All these victims whose blood I've sucked. I've elevated myself to Night Lord Vampire. Rumored to be the strongest form of vampire in Skyrim. You really don't want to do that. Never should have come here. <laughs> I will take the opportunity to stock up on blood vials. So, Embershard is where I turned one of my earlier companions, Bandit, and I released him back here. I wanted to see if he survived. bandit there or someone else. It was the bandit. Oh. Wow. Okay. Didn't look like him, though. It seemed like his hair was longer. And he doesn't have any of the equipment that I gave him. Perhaps this was a vampire that he sired. In any event, I'm not going to go through and slaughter the rest of the people in this mine, especially since I'm working on a full stomach. <laughs> Two things just happened in there. That wasn't the bandit, and I slain, I destroyed a vampire. Or that was the bandit, and I have given him his eternal rest. Anyhow, it's time to move on. Our next stop is here at the Red Lantern Inn. Hmm, my mask is about to fade again. I suppose I'll wait before I go inside. Seems 
like this is not lasting for very long. And I do have my illusion powers almost at maximum. It's disappointing that my illusion fades so quickly. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat. Get the cold out. So it's been some time since I've been here at the inn. But there was a quest that I started. We'll call it Outlaws and Revolutionaries. May Talos bless your days. And I got interrupted by other business. Orella. Can I help you? Are you ready to hit the road? Lead the way. I believe I have a journal here, her diary. What? It increased my destruction? Interesting. People often ask me to tell them about myself. My instinctive reaction is to cut their heads off, but alas, Often, the goons who pose this ridiculous question are people I need alive to pay me. In an effort to pre prevent this insane dribble, I thought I'd record some of the most common questions. I think I like her. And I'm not sure I have the pronunciation of the name correctly. Is it Aurelia? What are you capable of? Your mind would melt if I told you everything, sweetie. I am a bounty hunter mage, healer, merchant, collector of rare tomes, and world-class trash talker. If I choose to work with you, I guarantee it will be more useful to you than you are to me. Some of the things I can do heal you and your traveling companions in combat, give quests to track down bounties and pay you upon completion, give quests to find words of power, give quests to locate skill books and, sk and spell tomes, give quests to track down rare weapons, armor, and accessories. Buy items you acquire and sell certain rare items. Train you up to level 100 in destruction magic. Now, that I can certainly use. <clears throat> Cure your diseases. Is this question two? Why don't you have another job available for me right away? I am not the Jarl of Preston. I have to locate a suitable job first. Travel with me near a new city or town and then ask me again. If I'm not giving you the type of job you want, try changing the subject or asking me my thoughts. If I don't feel like talking to you at the moment, give me time or a change of scenery. I'll be ready eventually. I am an introvert, really, I doubt that, and need a little space occasionally. Question number three. Why don't you obey my... and or commands? They only work on the weak-minded. <laughs> That's interesting. While I won't obey those commands, by all means, keep using them on your other companions. Qu 
Question number four. You're supposed to heal me in combat, but I was gravely wounded. Walked the plains of oblivion, then woke up somewhere familiar. Why didn't you heal me? I was busy fighting. The bad guys and healing you drains my magicka. Get better at not dying or stick closer to me when fighting. Do you ever change clothes? <laughs> you have to earn my trust first. Help me with some personal tasks like gathering potion ingredients and I'll think about it. Question number six. You gave me a quest to find a word of power, a bounty, skill book, or enchanted item, but the quest broke. E.G. quest marker pointed at nothing. If something goes wrong with the quest, just talk to me, and I'll stop the quest for you. Then travel to a new location in a different hold, and I'll give you a new quest, if you want. All right, this is extremely, extremely informative. I'm glad I waited to read this. Now. Need something? Yes. I've given almost all of my money to Amran, but with what I have left, can you train As me? As you wish. What? I can't. All right. If I ever level up again, I'll certainly uh, remember you. Okay, we're leaving. Let's go. All right, the mission ahead of us is disarm and destroy. Disarm and destroy is a voice shout. It has three words of power, the spell, tome, disarm, and destroy volume one at Forsaken Cave will teach you the first word of the shout. All right, that's where we're headed. This is all part of a mission, I believe, that your compatriot, Sam, has given us. So let's head there now. certainly is powerful. And with those flames, I'd better not cross her path. She could destroy me instantly. All right, let's go. Orella. Orella. Perhaps you'll correct me one day. Oh, just push me into the cave. This one is mine. What? It didn't die? Much more like it. All right, it looks like my weapon also needs to be charged. It's a wonder I can even keep up with these soul gems.
as often as I'm recharging my weapons. What happened to... All right, whatever. I'm wondering with this marker, am I even in the right place? Surrounded, I hear footsteps everywhere. What? There's another one somewhere. For my enchantment, it might have actually survived the strike. Huh. Almost seems like there's something behind me, but I suppose not. So, no Aurelia. I think the next time we go on one of these missions, I might have to bring one of my own companions. It's actually a uh, Trogger. That's alive now. But this one. At least I'm able to replenish some of my soul gems. It's been a long time. Ah, look at this.
like I've lost my charge. But no matter. I suppose it's nice of her, or, or whatever her name is, to give me the freedom to operate. And I could bring my own companions, it seems. opened up but I'd like to pick up these healing potions for my mortal companions when they accompany me Just a little bit too slow. Seems like I'm out of soul gems. Well, suddenly I have soul gems for these two. Interesting. All right. 
perfect time for another recharge. See if I can shoot from here. All right. Whoever he was is destroyed. So there's a word wall here. Kill. Mocked for death. I can read that. Alright. And what do we have here? Another. Word, it would seem. Let's take it. Okay, there we are. Force, disarm, and destroy. I can read these so easily now. I don't know why. Okay, is there a... Yes, I think I can get out this way. And no sign of Oralia. Here we are at the entrance. Is there anything about this skeleton that I should know? I'll take his gold. Well, look who it is. Uh, careful with that fire. So why am I not surprised? Hello. Hmm. Okay. So, I found the word. What's next? Ah, we have another one. At Lost Echo Cave. All right, then. I guess I can't count on you for much help, but... Let's head there now. 